Dave said on that third down late in the first half, there was a miscommunication on the play call. Just curious what happened there. Uh, yeah, I heard the play wrong, and, and uh, yeah, so called the wrong play. So when you, you hear a run, I assume? Like that, the play obviously was a run, that's what you heard? Yeah, I heard the play wrong, yep. And then you have, do you have the freedom to change that, or is it in that situation you're just you're thinking you're calling what they want? And... Um, yeah, I mean, I think, um, yeah, I can get in and out of any play, so, um, yeah, can get in, in and out of any play. Daniel, do you go back and I mean, before we go, before I go forward, when you go when you go back and look, do you analyze everything, every snap, every sack, every everything to see what what I do well and what did I do badly? Uh, yeah, I think I always try to watch the film as closely as possible and see where I could have uh, could have done something differently, could have done something better. A lot has been made of uh, your interactions with Dable in the game and you know, his flipping the uh, iPad away. What do you make of those? Of those and what do you think about that going forward? If anything? Uh, yeah, I mean we were all frustrated. It's a costly mistake. I can't afford to can't afford to do that. So uh, yeah, we're all frustrated and um, part of it. You're good with that kind of hard coaching now. I mean, I know uh, yeah. it was part of it last year. I think Tennessee kind of comes to mind. Yeah, I get it. I think, um, yeah, like I said, we're all frustrated. Do you, ever, do you feel showing up when that happens and that gets out on video and things, or is that part of the uh, time? No, I mean, like I said, we were we were all frustrated and can't afford to make that mistake. How quickly can you, can you, go, do you put that away? You know, you take these things hard. How quickly do you, you know, go on to the next? Uh, you got to put it away immediately and, and get back out there and, and play ball. So, um, you know, you can't afford to dwell on any of that very long. Um, obviously, after the game, you try to learn from it and see where you, uh, you know, where you went wrong. The thing that uh, Joe and Dave said a lot last year was you're doing everything we're asked, doing everything we're asked. Are they asking you to do anything differently this year? Uh, no, I've just... I've got to play better. Got to make better decisions. You know, if Shep plays more, what does he bring, both in chemistry and familiarity for you, and then his talent on the field? Like, what does that do for your offense? Um, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of confidence and, and faith in Shep. I've played a lot of football with him, and um, you know, we, we got a lot of a lot of good players, a lot of good receivers, and uh, my ball is my job is to distribute the ball to him. How important is it for this offense if you guys, you know, want to function the way that I think you intend to do that Darren is a, a bigger piece of that? Um, yeah, I think it's important. Um, I think it's important. He's a talented player and, and poses a big threat for defenses. So uh, I've got to do a better job finding him, getting the ball. Why do you think it has happened the last couple of weeks? What do you kind of pinpoint when you look at that? Uh, I think there's just uh, yeah some opportunities where I've got to got to uh, you know give them the ball and give them chances to make plays. Daniel, you know, do you feel you and this entire offensive operation is much better than what you guys have shown so far? I do. Yeah, I think we're all still confident. I'm certainly confident in the group we have um, and what we what we can be. So you know it's about what you do on the field and what you do on on game day, so uh, that's what matters, and that's what we're focused on. You said the word shocked after the game the other day. Um, when does that wear off, that shock? Um, I, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I, I think we, we weren't, didn't expect to be in this position, but at the end of the day, it doesn't, doesn't really matter now. It's about what we do from here and, and how we correct the things we need to correct, uh, how we improve, and, and where we go from here. So um, that's what we're focused on. That's what I'm focused on. How did a Ben do? I mean, you know, it's kind of tough to go in the game to move from guard to center. I mean, you, you, you work together in the summer, but that's pretty quick promotion there. How, how, do, how do you think he did? I think he did well. I think he did well. He played well. He's a, um, you know, he always knows knows what to do. He's locked in, ready to go. So, um, yeah, I thought he played well. That's it.
Did you get evaluated for anything after hitting your head in the fourth quarter? No, I was good. I was good. But physically, was that as difficult a game as you had? I mean, besides the sacks, you're running, you're you're sliding, you're getting hit. You're not you're running out of bounds that often. I mean, physically, did that was that a really demanding game? Did you feel afterwards? Um, yeah, I mean, some of them are going to be that way. I've certainly had physical games and and uh, you know. Fine, prepared for it, and just got to get ready to go this week. You weren't extra sore or anything afterwards? Or no. Anything? no. What did you see from the I 10 sacks, it. like when you went back and looked at them? Um, I think there's some uh, situations where I can get the ball out of my hands quicker and uh, put our offense in a better situation.